Lewis here for Dark Controls. Today we're going to give you an overview of the MicroDrive series. This is a unique product only made by Dark Controls. It's actually a DC speed control and tachometer, which is closed loop, all combined into one unit. The MicroDrives come in three different models. Two are panel mounted units and one is a standalone unit. All of these are NEMA 4, NEMA 4X rated when properly installed. These are closed loop drives so they require some sort of pulse feedback from the motor something like our DART PU series Hall Effect sensor. Each one of the drives is programmable for different display units and different modes of operation. They can be set up in a rate, time, or follower mode. Depending on which model is used we can handle up to two horsepower permanent magnet motors. If you have a larger or different style motor like an AC motor, we have other products that provide similar function to the microdrive called our ASP series. Why do I want to use something like this? They provide repeatable accurate speed. They automatically compensate for different application and, and motor load changes. They're programmable to give direct reading units to operators of equipment and they save money. All of these devices have multiple features and functions inside that typically can only be found in uh, different units that have to be wired up and take up panel space. So where are microdrives used? Well many applications include some form of a conveyor a simple material handling conveyor or something more sophisticated like a sh shrink tunnel, uh, infrared curing, uh, food preparation, heat treating. All of, there's many, many different styles of conveyors and, and conveyorized ovens where the microdrive is a great solution. Another application includes batching and blending where we have multiple motors that need to run in some proportion to each other the ability of the microdrive to run in the follower mode allows us to set up each motor to run in proportion to each other very simply. And another uh, typical application is on pumps. Um, the accurate, repeatable uh, setting speed control of a pump uh, used with a microdrive is very beneficial. Another uh, neat little uh, feature is um, since we require a pulse feedback can actually use a pulse generating flow meter downstream of the pump because over time a pump's flow characteristics will change as it wears the flow meter downstream of the pump fed back to the microdrive will automatically, automatically accommodate for this. So let's show how easy it is to program a microdrive. What we have here is a MD10P and a tachometer. We have a motor with a PU2 series sensor mounted on it which gives us one pulse per revolution. One of the key things whether you're using a microdrive or any of our other digital products is make sure you know what the pulse rate per revolution of your sensor is and have that programmed correctly uh, in your product. So what we have is the microdrive is programmed right now to read out in rate uh, in terms of motor RPM. And it's verified on the tachometer should be uh, very close to 500 RPM. Well let, let's say that we're using this on a conveyor application and it makes more sense to read out in, in conveyor rate rather than the motor speed. So let's say uh, that we want to see 25 feet per minute on the conveyor at 500 RPM on the motor. Well this is really easy to do. Let me go ahead and stop this motor. To enter the program mode you press and hold the enter button and the display changes to P0. P0 is the entry and exit point in the program mode. Then I know from my manual that 
parameter 30 needs to be changed. Parameter 30, I go to P30 and hit enter and it currently has a value of 2400. Notice the blinking colon. That lets me know that I'm into a data area and I'm getting ready to change a value. What I want to see in, in parameter 30 is the, the value displayed to the operator. In this case, it's 25 feet per minute. But let's say that really I want to give the, the operator even more control. Let's say I want to get him to see 25.0 feet per minute. So the number I really need to see here is 250. And we'll introduce the decimal point in a moment. So we run this down to 250. Press enter. And then the other parameter I need to change is parameter 31. Parameter 31 is the motor speed, the known motor speed, either measured or calculated, where I get the 25 feet per minute reading uh, on my conveyor. And from our example we're using, that was 500 RPM on the motor. So I put 500 in here, press enter, and now the last thing I need to do is introduce my decimal point, which is parameter 13. And I know from my manual that's a value of 3. And press enter after I change the value, go to P0 to exit. And if you can see, we now have a decimal point shown in the display. We want to run this up to 25.0. This time it's in feet per minute, which makes more sense to the operator. And we should verify over on the tachometer a value right at or very near 500 RPM. At DART, we always encourage your call to discuss your application to see whether the microdrive or any other great DART product is the best fit for, for your application. <laughs>